Good morning, everybody. It's another episode of Intellectually Honest, unedited, uncut, and we're going to jump right into it. Um, so, you know why the Pelicans keep losing? It's because their two best players are not two-way players. Last night, all three of their best players, Lonzo, because I think it's safe to say that Lonzo's better than everybody on that team besides Ingram and, and, uh, and Zion. Last night, they combined. They had, they each scored over 20, uh, 20 points. They each had, uh, I think, Ingram and Ball both had 24. Zion had, I think, like almost like 30 or whatever. But Lonzo didn't have the best assist game. He only had four assists. And I see a lot of people on... I see a lot of people on Facebook and social media and YouTube and stuff saying that, oh, and Instagram saying it's a bounce back game for Zoe. Uh, he had 24 points. You know what I'm saying? Aggressive Zoe, aggressive Zoe. Look, I'm not even going to call this a bounce back game because last game was a good game from Zoe. He had 12 assists. They, and they won. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's one of those things. That you have to understand the game of basketball as a whole. It's more than just, it's more than just buckets. It's like it's a whole like you know, uh, like 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 game like inside uh, or deeper game going on. You know, like like than what we than what casual fans might catch. You know what I mean? Last night exposed the the truth about the the, the Pelicans. I don't know if I said Celtics the first time, but Pelicans, um, and that's the, their two best players don't play defense. Lonzo Ball and I said it back on a video. Uh, uh, yeah, my one of my first videos that Lonzo Ball is the only two way player they have on this team. You know what I mean? He's the only two way player they have on this squad. He's the only player that gets up on defense and gets up on uh, offense. And and you saw that. You know what I mean? Like they and, and imagine imagine if he was the primary ball handler last night. You know what I mean? He he would have had like like people people overreact to the games where Lonzo's shots not dropping, you know what I mean? Like if he was the primary ball handler, the primary facilitator last night, he could have easily had twenty four and anywhere from eight to ten assists, and the Pels probably would have won. It's just you got you you giving you giving your two best players the reins to do everything except play defense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Zion can shoot the three. Yeah, Zion can run point. Yeah, Zion can do all this. Yeah, Brandon Ingram can run point. Yeah, Brandon Ingram can... They can do everything on offense because you give them the green light to do it, but you're not hard enough for them on defense so for they, you know, for them to set the example. And both of them are physically able to play defense. Like, Ingram is really long. Zion is really is a physical freak. They're, they're, they're more than capable of playing D. But they just don't because, you know, reasons. Like, but that, but that's the reason why the Pels are what they are. Offensively, it's not a problem. People people overreact to these when Lonzo has bad games. Like, they still have a high offensive rating in those games where Lonzo's not shooting it because he'll turn around and give you twelve assists or whatever, or he'll just do things on the court that makes the offense flow. You know, that they might not stand stand out or might not show up in the in the box score, but. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like. So that their offense is never the issue; it's the defense, and the main reason is because your two best players don't do it. That's why. You know, that's why the Pelicans lost. So I see people bunch. You know, this is weird. Like, this is Lonzo. You really don't know how to feel about Lonzo. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really is one of the most polarizing players. Because I see people on social media on one saying it's a bounce back game, but then I'll see people saying it's Lonzo's fault that they didn't win. You know what I mean? Like, like, come on, dog. Like, like, it's like they. It's like I never see Ingram and Zion catch any of this blame. It's insane. He's the third or fourth options on some nights. Like, why is Lonzo looked at to be the the the, the you know the point guard? You know, he's he's looked at by the fans. He's looked at to be the primary point guard, but also he's supposed to be an off-ball specialist on this team, but also he's just the third or fourth uh, fourth option, but also he's the closer. It's like, this dude, he might as well be playing by himself if y'all gonna blame him for everything. The man is a, the man is hooping. The man is hooping. We gotta, we gotta give it to him. He's hooping. He's having a great season. Um, he's not the reason they lost last night. The reason the Pelicans lost is because their two best players do not play defense. They don't stop nothing. 
uh, Steven Adams, you know, you know he's he's an offensive rebounder. That's he's a that's, he's a space eater. He he's there to take up space. Um, Eric Bledsoe, he's there to you know to be Eric Bledsoe, which he's doing really well. Nobody else is do, is being Eric Bledsoe better than him. So kudos to him. But your three primary players, your stars, you know, you got they they gotta they gotta have defined roles too, to a to a degree. You know what I mean? Like like. If if Ball is a three point specialist, then run some plays for him. They I don't see them run shit for Ball. Like even when he's cooking, it's like he's he, he's like all right, the offense ain't doing nothing. Let me just jack this three, you know, if it go in, whatever, or or he'll just uh, catch it off of a Zion kick or whatever or, or Ingram kick. But they never could draw. I, I hardly ever see them draw up plays to actually get Lonzo off the of screen and get Lonzo in a spot where he can keep getting good shots at three. You know what I mean? They they really want this dude to just create for himself, pretty much, but but do it without having the ball in his hand. It's 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 weird. It looks clunky. It, like you ask if I if it sounds confusing the way I'm I'm explaining it, just look at the game. It looks confusing to see it. That that like it, it looks the way it sounds. It sounds the way it looks. It's a confusing offense. Stan Van Gundy does not know what he's doing. Um. So that like I, I know it sounds like a little vent. But you gotta understand, like I like I was one of those ones that really thought the Pelicans was gonna come into this season and break shit. Like I was really one of them ones. I thought I was waiting for Zoe to shut everybody up, uh, have full reins to run the offense. I didn't know Stan. I mean, I guess I kind of figured after hearing Stan Van Gunny talk. I didn't know. Um, you know, I didn't know Stan Van Gunny was gonna look this lost, this you know uncomfortable, like a fish out of water. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 you know, you just don't know what to do, man. And, um, you know, it's just, it's not, it's not going to get better. It's not going to get better. I think, uh, I think, uh, if you Alonzo Ball fan and you really want to see him blossom into what he can be, you should be rooting for this dude to get the hell up out of there. Go to New York. Go to New York where Julius Randle has made it, like, a, made such a nice, inviting home. For uh, potential point guards to land, and I think Lonzo's gonna step right into that role and blossom alongside of Drew Randall. Um, but this Pelican situation is dead. I I don't even know if I'm gonna watch another Pelicans. I will watch it, of course I watch it. <laughs> I'm a Lonzo fan. I'm gonna watch it. But as soon as he's out, I'm out. Like I'm not. I'm not watching this trash ass team. Um, it, no, not with this. Just oblivious, oblivious, blissfully unaware coach like he really thinks that he's he really thinks that it's 2009 and, and Zion is Dwight Howard you know so uh they'll hopefully they'll they'll figure it out I think Zion is going at the end of his contract Ingram might stay because he likes the smaller markets but it's a lot of better smaller markets teams in the um in the league, I could see Ingram going to the Spurs and kind of taking that De- DeMar DeRozan spot uh, when he uh, inevitably mo- leaves to go to like a, a contending team, you know, to try to finally get one. I could see the Spurs going after Ingram and Ingram flourishing in that uh, that team. But Pels ain't doing nothing. That organization ain't about nothing. They don't never do nothing. They done had some of the most talented players we've ever seen, and they just don't do nothing. So, uh that's my take on that. Um, Pelicans keep losing because they two best players don't play D. Nobody knows what the hell they're doing. Nobody knows what their job is. Nobody knows what's expected of them. They just go out there and just try shit and see how it plays out. So uh, this has been Intellectually Honest. Signing out. All right.